Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In my previous video, I have introduced how to use the tile palette to edit tile map in Unity. And we create our first level map by using tile map 2D. If you missed the previous video, I highly recommend you to watch that. Today, I will continue the tile map topic and talk about more advanced features. Animated tile, root tile, and random tile. If you want to start from this complete demo, I also upload it to my GitHub and Google Drive. Hopes you can use it as you wish. Okay, let's get started. Now we have opened the Unity. Here is our first tutorial project. So first thing first, let's right click to create one tile. The tile allows the sprites to be rendered on the tile map. We can easily see what the tile looks like. We have created many tiles before, but if you want to make some animation tiles, can we just build one tile on it? Actually, Unity Technology has considered our commands and published some assets to their GitHub. I have downloaded the package from the Unity official GitHub. I have shown the links on the description below. Also, drag another two sprites to the Unity. We will use them for animation and root tile later. After that, right click inside the project view. You can see that there are some new buttons on the menu selection. We can create one new folder to save another tiles for this video. To do that, choose the multiple mode and slice the sprite. This sprite comes from official Unity tutorial. The best pixel per unit is 100 and we can slice them into 10 pieces. Then, back to the animation tile, we want to run these 5 images in a loop. So let's drag the 5 sprites to their places. We can use the same methods to create another animation tile as well. After that, we can create one new palette to save our tile. You can, also, you can also drag these two new tiles inside your previous palette. It depends on you. For clear to see, I create a new palette. Then drag two tiles into the tile palette window. Now we can see the pen tool to brush it. Cool. As I mentioned before, pay attention to your active tile map. Panto will brush the tile in this tile map level. Now when we press play, we are going to see the waterfall has animated. Well, this animation looks weird because it's slower than you think. You can set the animation speed to 5 to test. Also, if you want the waterfall to be a collider, you can change the collider type to the sprites as well. That's how to make the animated tile in tile map. We don't need to open the animation window and the animator window to control them. It's very handy for game designer to design this level and put so many tricks on it. The second thing I would like to introduce is the rule tile. It's very useful when you make the platform or top-down game. 
First, let's create one row tile. Then, using the sprite editor to slice the images to the right size. Click the root tile first. Press the Add button. Now we will tell the Unity what's the rules in this tile. First, let's drag the middle top sprites to the sprite slot. The only thing we have to set up is the square grid. For the top middle sprites, we don't want its top place has any other platform tile above this position. So let's double click the second position on the square grid. By default, our sprite is located on the center of the gray squares. We want any other platform sprites can be connected with on the left, right, and bottom side. At the same reason, we drag the top left corner sprites to the second sprite slot. Our sprites are located on the center of the gray squares. Because of the top left corner position, we don't want any other tiles on our top and the left because this is the end edges of the platform. So we want to connect with any other tiles in the bottom and right of the tiles. We want to use this method to continue to set up our rules continuously. After set up all rules in Unity, drag the rule tile in Unity and let's test our rule. We can see that the tile is not very suitable size with our grid. The reason is that we should not set the sprites to 100 pixels per unit. Actually, the right size should be 64 because the width and height in this image is 512. This is 8 columns in the sprites. So the pixel per unit should be 512 divided by 8. It's equals to the 64. That's it. We have almost completed the rule tiles now. Well, if you see clearly, that's not what we want. In many corners, the sprite looks weird now. So what happens? The reason is that I did not give him the correct order. Unity will follow your rules from the top to bottom, which means the first rule has the top priority. Let's drag the complete dark sprites to the bottom of the rules and try again. That's it. If you want to create a random tiles, that's the same method. You can create one random tile in your project and drag certain number of sprites into their slots. Then drag the tile to the tile palette and test it. Alright, this is the end of this tutorial. Thanks for watching this video. If you like it, hope smash the likes and subscribe button. Alright, see you in the next time.